Well, heavy snow is hitting the high country right now, and you can see it just coming down. We're talking as much as two feet of snow will drop in Flagstaff when this is all said and done. But all of this winter weather has bigger impacts when it comes to water. ABC 15's Ashley Holden is braving this winter storm from downtown Flagstaff with how this <laughs> winter weather could help you. And really the snow has picked up in the last hour here. It's gotten heavier throughout the day and take a look at how deep it is right beside me in these snow piles. Now this might be tough for residents who have to shovel all of this, but this winter weather is having a positive impact. Even today's weather when it comes to water here in the state. People in Flagstaff Wednesday just trying to keep up with the snow. I do the 10 inches today and then I'll finish the next 10 inches tomorrow morning. Huge piles lining streets around the city. I've lived here my whole life. It seems like definitely one of the snowiest in the shortest amount of time. Flagstaff has seen nearly 10 feet of snow on the season. That's according to the National Weather Service. The bulk of that falling from January to February. It's been a while. We've been in a pretty serious drought. 31 and a half. While some might be tired of shoveling, SRP's snow survey results from Tuesday are historic. The snowpack on the Verde right now, south of Flagstaff, for instance, south of Williams, um, that's the second biggest it's been in 30 years. Meteorologist Bo Svoma was part of the team measuring the results. Every extra foot of snow that falls from here on out is going to be you know, considerably more runoff into the reservoirs. In January, we reported SRP's reservoirs were near 70% full, but their team's runoff predictions would surpass reservoir capacity. SRP will be starting low level releases to start moving some of that water uh, with expecting with those inflows to be expected to increase here in March. But the system that brings water to the valley is complex. Central Arizona Project tells me they help deliver water from the Colorado River to over 80% of the people in Arizona. As of Wednesday, we're at 130% of the snowpack as of this morning, which is really fantastic for us. But moisture in the soil and temperature has to be right to get a good runoff. Their water experts say more than just one season is needed for lasting change. Our reservoirs have kind of remained at that 50% levels. So we have never been able to fill up those reservoirs, even with some wet years. And those experts say when it comes to the Colorado River, they really need four or five years of good snowpack to get those levels back to where they were pre drought. For now, from Flagstaff, we'll send it back to you, Javier. Uh, get indoors. It is coming down hard. Thank you very much for your reporting.